Hello, I'm Sean Rafua of SF Mixology, and today we're going to go over how to make cool garnishes. Why do cocktails even need zests or peels? That's a good question. I think people wonder a lot, and they don't really know. Well, let's talk about that. When you have a cocktail that has a lot of alcohol in it, there's a lot of vapor, and those vapors will push uh, the sensation of burn, that ethanol burn. Well, Here's a visual of ethanol burn, so we're both on the same page, okay? This is my ethanol burn. <laughs> now, we all have our own unique ethanol burn uh, uh, signatures. But in any case, um, one, one tried and true way of getting rid of ethanol burn is um, a couple of years of extremely heavy drinking, which is the way I got over it. So I didn't get over it until I was at least 13. Uh, but one way of dynamically cutting the ethanol burn in your drink so that you can taste the greater depth and complexity of the drink is by adding a layer to the drink. And so what the zest does, it, it adds front palate. And um, the powerful oils uh, of the peel will come in on the front side and they'll uh, meet the vapors uh, in the, on the back side and they'll cut those vapors and thus dissipate the burn. So you can taste more depth, more nuance, more complexity. And so what we're going to go over is first how to make the curly Q kind of lemon twist, which is actually a, a pre-prepared uh, type of garnish. So you start with a lemon, and uh, lots of times lemons have uh, protrusions off the sides. So we're going to do, we're going to cut those protrusions right off, all up off there. And make sure a good amount of the meat is showing. All right, and now we're going to take a very inexpensive, old world style stir spoon. Not one of these fancy new mixology era stir spoons. No, a very old dive bar like uh, uh, stir spoon. And then you can also use a ice pick or even, you know, a uh, chopstick will work as well. You just need to be able to stick something in there. So in any case, uh, we have the stir spoon and we just uh, make sure that a little bit of the stir spoon is sticking out of the side and, and you hold it with your thumb out like this. So this is, you got to make sure you're independent, your thumb is independent. And then you put your thumb on the lemon and then you got to go, so you're going to push this into the lemon. You got to go, you got to make sure that you're in, in the white of the, of the pith. Uh, so you got to make sure you're not in the meat. You got to make sure you go above the meat. So you just put your uh, thumb, brace your thumb and then you go in above the meat and you push it in. Uh, not too deep at first and then you just uh, thumb back, move towards your thumb, thumb back, move towards your thumb, thumb back, move towards your thumb. Once you've gone around once, then you can go in deeper. You can go in as deep as possible. You could probably go all the way to the other side or if you can't, that's okay. What you can do is you can uh, then flip it and go in on this side. But I was able to go through uh, all the way. Now what you do is just make one incision in the peel and now you have the rind of the peel. Okay, and now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and roll this up like a cannoli. And you would uh, stick maybe a toothpick in there to hold it steady. But we're just going to show you how to make one. Obviously you would chop, chop, chop. Chop, 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 chop. Right? Okay. Now, you have this curly Q, and what we're going to do is we're going to, again, you can do this with a chopstick or uh, even a ice pick, and your drink. You can even zest it like this by twisting it, but either way, what you do is just kind of wrap it around, and now you have a permanent slinky style lemon twist. Now we're going to learn how to make those large orange peel garnishes that act as zest and then people, you know, bartenders put them in the drink and they look kind of nice sticking out. So we're going to go over that. So it's all dependent on the peeler that you use. I like OXOs a lot. Both these are OXOs. Uh, they're sharp and the secret is to have a good gap in between here. The larger the gap, the 
more into the orange or maybe lemon that you're going to be digging into because, well, let me show you. You start with your orange. You face your orange towards your drink. So you have a finished drink here, right? Well, let's put, let's put some ice in it. A little bit of ice. All right. Got your drink. Face your orange towards the drink. And then you dig in. Yeah. And because ha you have a wide space in between the blades, you get a good amount of the pith. Because this looks kind of ugly like this. And if it remains like this, flat, it's going to look ugly. So what this does, the pith, that white part that you, you get to dig into the orange with a wider uh, blade uh, space between the blades. And then when you twist it to zest it, it remains twisted. And you can put it in there. And it looks a lot better this way. Yeah. That concludes today's Mixology Shorts. Uh, please join us again soon for another short of Mixology Shorts coming up shortly. <laughs>